Here we have a MSI Gaming GE70 17 inch laptop. We're going to open up and explore the insides. As you know, to start off, always have something soft to put your laptop on so you don't scratch it when you move it around. Now we're going to flip to the back. And first, we're going to remove the battery, which everyone should know how to remove. So you pull apart the two sides, put your finger in the hole, lift it up, and it comes out. Now, we're going to remove the back plate. There's three screws holding the back cover down. If you look at the holes, there's actually more than three, there should be five. The other two are the keyboard holes screws which you don't need to remove to remove the back cover if you want you can just remove it just in case if you don't understand it so there's a little tab hole there so there's a little gap here it has an arrow you put your finger in it and you lift it up and you remove the back cover like that so that's the hard drive that's the ram that's the m.2 starter that's the wireless card that's a CPU, that's a graphic card, that's the fan to cool it. So now we're going to remove the DV drive. There's one screw holding the DV drive down. Just pull out the DV drive after the screw is removed, and it comes up pretty easily. Now we're going to remove the hard drive. There's two screws holding the hard drive down. There's a plastic tab for you to pull the hard drive out. It's normally tucked under. So you have to pull it out and tilt it up slightly to remove the hard drive. So we're going to remove the M.2, oh sorry, inside of hard drive. Just remove one screw and it tilts up like the RAM. I'm just going to put it back as um, you don't need to remove it. Now I'm going to remove the RAM, just pull the two sides apart and the RAM pops up. Now there's, this is the keyboard screw, there's two of them. If you look at the back cover, it has a keyboard side next to the screw hole. You need to remove these two screws if you want to remove the keyboard. Now we're going to flip the laptop Stop. over. So, yeah. on top of the keyboard, there's a sticker. There's still series. What am I looking at? Top strip. You're going to have to remove yep. it. Try not to dirty it, as um, it's just sticky. It's basically sticky tape. If you dirty it, you're going to have to put it back and won't stick properly. Now we remove it. There's five screws underneath. You need to remove these five screws to remove the keyboard. Now that we remove the five screws, the keyboard just tilts up, you just pull it up and then it comes up. Don't lift it up too hard, as um, 
there are cables underneath. There are two. There should be one backlight cable and one keyboard cable. Yeah, I can see that. But hardly. Yeah. So there's, there's a cable on the other side of the computer. We're going to have to flip it back over to remove it. There's two brown things in the corner, you just push it away from you and it releases the cable. How about the big one? Don't do the big one now. Yep. Same here, you push the black tab forward and it releases the keyboard. And that's it. This is relatively pretty easy. There's not much screws holding the whole thing down. Two keyboard screws, three back back plate, back cover screws, and that's basically it. The rest is two hard drive screws or whatever you wish to remove. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching.